What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and it has been over a month, officially, since I made, made, not posted, but made a commentary. Um, now a few things before I get started into this. One, I do have a bit of a call to mention that in my last video yesterday, and I do apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do. Uh, I need to get videos out because uh, I need to sort of get a rebound now, because I know uh, with the video schedule that's a little bit different than what I normally do, um, some people do sort of drop off, but I, I'm hoping to get some of them back and uh, get back into my regular uploading schedule and I have some time to get settled in. Um, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, this that might get a little annoying. I do apologize. Um, now a few things. One, uh, this is not the most fantastic gameplay. This is actually my first game I played on Terminal, the new map, well, new-ish map that came out for uh, Modern Warfare 3. And, um, I, it's not the most amazing score, I think it's like 20 and 5, but, uh, I have to be honest, after a month of not playing, getting a gameplay has not been the easiest thing, so I just have to keep playing and keep practicing and keep getting back to where I was, because right now I am struggling a little bit, but I, it'll come back as, uh, uh, with time, and uh, I'm sure that won't be a big problem probably by middle next week or something like that. Um, now, let's talk Terminal. Uh, obviously not a new map, but it is new for Modern Warfare 3. came out sometime during the middle of my Spanish trip. Um, this part is a little confusing me. This used to be a glitch back there where you could throw stuff through that wall. But when I tried it this time, it just sort of disappeared. Watch. I couldn't entirely figure that out in game. Uh, I don't think it went through because when I went up, I couldn't see it, but... Uh, <clears throat> Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, let's talk Terminal. Uh, back on topic. Uh, so basically, it was a very, very popular map in Modern Warfare 2, but to that standard, it wasn't really a great map in Modern Warfare 2. And uh, there's a few reasons for that. Terminal was probably, with Rundown, the worst, absolute worst map in Modern Warfare 2 for new tubing. People could do it with so much ease. There were so many spots you could stand and just new tube and get kills the entire game that it was practically broken. Run down people would spawn tube, people would flag tube, terminal people would stand behind that desk that's where the where the ballistic vest sign is on your screen right now. Um, it's the one that's just outside of this room that I'm in right now. I'm sure most of you know it. People would stand there and uh, with a spawn trap and domination on B, just uh, have grenade launchers danger close down the hallway, um, right there uh, on the right of the screen. And then people would stand in a building that's uh, sort of across that is just under the giant tanker with gas and stuff, and noob tube into here where I'm standing right now because this is the A spawn trap, and this map was just horrible for that kind of stuff. Um, and for Modern Warfare 2, for that reason, whenever it was picked, I would just quit because it would be too frustrating. Um, however, there was one game mode where it was clarified and was like, actually a good map, and that was on Search and Destroy. And I've yet to play it in Modern Warfare 3 and Search and Destroy, it just hasn't come up in the list. I've been trying desperately to get on it because, uh, one, there's an old tactic I learned from IDXM on, and I'm sure none of you know who he is. But um, he was an old clip, Modern Warfare 3 guy, who, uh, and he tried commentating for a little while, but then he sort of dropped off the face of the map. So, uh, anyway, uh, that you might see that soon. It's half playing dead, half just search and destroy clutching kind of stuff. Um, but now that noob tubes are gone, well, not gone, they're still here, but now that noob tubes are much, much worse than they were before, and now that... Danger Close is out and One Man Army and all these things. Terminal, in my opinion, is the best map in Modern Warfare 3. Um, it sucks in Modern Warfare 2, but in Modern Warfare 3, it stands as pretty much the best map. Um, well, I still haven't learned the spawns for our games like Kill Confirmed and Team Deathmatch. Uh, Domination, the spawns are pretty much the same, so spawn trapping is easily doable on this map for uh, basically A and B. C is not the easiest, but for A and B it can be done without problem. Um, so it's one of the few maps that has spawn trapping on it, which is, the sun might not be good, but as a, as a YouTube player, as a Call of Duty player, spawn trapping is good. 
Uh, you want a map where you can be able to win just by outskilling the player, not having it be all random and stuff. Uh, now, on the other hand, uh, I'm not sure about the other game modes, but at least in that case it is. Now, uh, the other thing that this map has is it's got cover. Uh, the maps are full of cover. It's not random cover. It's, it's the Mono for 2 style of cover, where it's actually mo many things are like strategically placed around the map for, uh, to be used instead of just random junk all over the map that uh, people will head glitch and look through like bur burned out cars that are in the middle of nowhere. Um, so in that in that sense this map's design is just better than most of the maps in Modern Warfare 3. Uh, if we look to, uh, let's take a popular map like, uh, I don't know, Sea Town. If you look at Sea Town, head glitching hardly exists. I mean, yes, there's a few spots where you can do it, but for the most part, if you get into a gunfight, it's an open gunfight or an uneven gunfight. And by that, I mean one person will be at a higher level than the other person, in which case, most of the time, the person in the upper level will win. But, on this map, there's cover all over the place. You see here, you can use these little corners for cover. Through the entire hallway down there, there's cover going all the way across so you can strategically advance instead of having an open hallway you just have to charge down and hope no one sees you. Um, in the plane, there's cover. Uh, in this area here where sea domination flag normally is, there's cover. I can't believe I didn't see that guy. <laughs> it's a dumb death. But the map's design is just far superior to anything else in this game. Um, simply because even if you're in a losing position in a spawn trap, you can get yourself out by simply strategically moving around the map and constantly and there's no place where you have to run through where you'd be like oh my god I'm not gonna be in a position of uh, advantage you can always have some sort of advantage over the enemy and uh, that's what I really love about the tournament but anyway that's the end of the video and if you like this as always comment rate subscribe and I'll see you in my next commentary um, regular upload should start again um, this will be the first of many to come and uh, I really, again, appreciate your support. I apologize about the cold, and, well, uh, there's not much else I can do about that. Thank you for watching, though.